is propagating communal harmony. Um, so would you say that you were at your best um, when you were working with the print magazine also and at the same time working with the media I was at my with. best meaning yes it was another uh, area where I um, found it interesting to work but there were things about it that I didn't find interesting there was a whole lot of routine stuff you know uh, there too there was constant worry about uh, circulation and so on and so forth and you know um, there were certain um, constrictions you know you uh, for instance, I couldn't make the magazine exactly the way I wanted it, exactly the way I wanted it. That is to say, I mean, there was a lot of uh, consideration that was given, and rightly so, I expect, uh, to um, to the commercial, you know, uh, well, value of it. It's always commerce, isn't it? It is always that, yes. Um, but I must say that in spite of that, we succeeded in making it a thinking woman's magazine. So, um, you have left Chanunda, right? Yes, I have. Okay. So, you think that that was a cerebral uh, sort of a contribution to uh, just Flat Magazine, right? Yeah. Well, when, when I was asked to edit it, I thought this is not a film magazine, it's not a literary magazine. So, it's a consumerist magazine. So, let's try and make it something that will be useful for the uh, reader. And it became a very utilitarian magazine, something that was really useful, you know, dealing with points of law, all kinds of finance, uh, current affairs, um, really a thinking woman's magazine. Because I kept saying that, you know, a uh, woman is, uh, woman, women kind, you know, wo a woman is not uh, a species that is, you know, apart, aside from uh, the human species. She's part of the human species. So why shouldn't she be interested in everything that other human beings are interested in? So basically, not what Simone de Beauvoir's uh, second sex, <laughs> no. but, but definitely a species by, by ourselves. Uh, who is a complete woman to you? Who do you think? represents uh, the perfect A complete woman. woman is like a complete human being, you know. I mean, a woman who is uh, in control of her destiny in this very, very chancy world of ours, um, as much as possible, in control of her uh, self and her affairs and her destiny, and uh, doesn't have to abide simply by social rules when she doesn't want to. So it's a lot to do with inner freedom. Have you, um, I was just reading a, a book recently by somebody who belongs to the Delhi University and she's written that she feels like a, like a door hinge. You know, she says that in her journey from the private to the public, she feels like a door hinge. Is, do you think that women actually in our society are like door hinges and that we're always bridging uh, the inner and the exterior? To some extent, I think when you're young, but no, not so much anymore with the uh, urban middle class, the urban educated middle class woman today. Uh, she's much more her own person, I think. Uh, I shot on not this side but that side of the same bridge during my film Poroma when it was not even done. It was not complete. Um, it was uh, rather risky getting up there mm -hmm. and the hero says to the heroine live dangerously and they get up and they walk and uh, I remember uh, the person in charge then said they, he wanted to read the uh, scene because he didn't know what I was going to do and so he read the scene and he said oh it's a romantic scene forget <laughs> <laughs> so it was easy for me to uh, get permission to shoot here and but this was all that was not there all this it was that side actually and, and she looks out over the whole of the city of Calcutta and she decides to go and about her.